To book a private reading, email me at tarakite at hotmail.com. Thanks. Hi, Leah. Welcome to your December 2016 tarot scope. And make sure to check for your moon sign and your rising sign as well. And I first want to wish you all a happy holiday season. And remember that this is just a general reading, so if you want a personal reading, email me at tarakite at hotmail.com. Alright, and for the main focus, you got the Two of Pinnacles, and I also pulled a card from the Messages from Your Angels deck by Doreen Virtue, and you got Zena. Alright, before I pulled your cards, I just got the sense that, you know, you're enjoying the holiday season this year. I just feel like, yeah, you're just enjoying the moment this month, and yeah, just enjoying the holiday season. And I feel like some of you are going all out, you know, you're really... You know, I just feel like you're really wanting to decorate the house nice, you know, um, just seems like, you know, you're putting a lot of thought into, you know, decorating the house, um, you know, I just feel like you're putting a, a lot of thought into things, um. And for some of you out there, you know, for the writers out there, I feel like some, you know, some of you are writing, and I feel like, you know, some good inspiration is, is headed your way this month. All right, and your chakra focus is the root chakra, and yeah, I feel like you're, you know, you're very grounded this month, very focused, determined, and yeah, I just feel like you're very much in the moment as well. All right, and with the Two of Pinnacles here, you know, this card can represent, you know, multitasking, you know, this month, you know, you may feel like, you know, you're doing a lot, you know, I just feel like you're multitasking, um, you know, you may feel like you're also traveling a lot, you know, maybe you're going back and forth different places, um, you know, some of you may feel like you're having to make some sort of choice, um, you know, and with this card, another thing I always recognize in this card, it's like, he almost looks like he's, you know, juggling, like he's performing for others, um, you know, so some of you may be a host, you know, maybe you're throwing some sort of holiday party and you're, you know, you're trying to be a good host, um. And yeah, and th this could indicate, you know, trying to bring some sort of balance into your life. You know, some of you may be trying to balance your time wisely. Um, or, you know, you may be trying to balance out your finances. Um, and this can also indicate, you know, m money coming into your account, but also, you know, money coming out of your account. You know, spending money, but also earning money. All right. It just seems like there's a flow here. All right, and with Zena, you've got, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. And yeah, just know that, you know, your spiritual team is there for you. You know, even if things seem kind of busy and hectic, just know that they're there for you, you know, guiding you. I know that you're free to do whatever it is that you want to do. You know, you know, don't, don't feel like you have to do something just to please, you know, others. Um, you know, you do what makes you happy. You know, you're the only one that's going to live your own life. Um, and so, yeah, just focus on, you know, what it is that you want. And, you know, keep focusing on the joy and, you know, what makes you happy. All right, and for the beginning of the month, you've got Indriel and the Ten of Wands here. All right, and with Indriel, she says, You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. I feel like you're being very helpful towards somebody else this month, and I feel like you're, you know, you're taking on a lot here. Um... You know, the Ten of Pentacles here, I mean, wands, you know, this can represent, you know, having a lot on your plate, 
you know, having to do a lot. Um, some of you, I feel like you're helping, you know, it's like you're taking on a lot of things. I feel like you're helping like a charity or something like that. Um, it just seems like, it just seems like you have a lot, a lot of things to do. It's like you're already, you know, trying to balance the time between, you know, your day job and your hobbies and then you're also taking on like extra work, like charity work. Just seems like you're doing a lot. Um, but you know, thank you so much, Leo, for all that you do. You know, I just feel like you're being very helpful, and I feel like you know you're, yeah, you're, you're really being helpful. You know, you're giving somebody the encouragement that they need, and you know, helping somebody move forward. So you know, just thank you for that, Leo. All right. And for the middle of the month, you've got the Ace of Pentacles and Vanessa. And Vanessa says, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to, to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? And yeah, I just feel like it's really important for you to, you know, to do things that make you happy. Um... You know, we just can't always worry about what other people are going to think. Um, you know, and we can't just do things just because we think it's going to please somebody else. You got to, you know, just please yourself. You know, um, you know you're know, you the only one that's going to live your life. Um, you know, my grandma used to have this sign that said, I can only please one person per day. Today's not your day and tomorrow's not looking good either. And so, yeah, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about what other people are going to think. You got to do, you got to put yourself first. That's what I'm trying to say. You got to put yourself first. Um, and with the Ace of Pentacles, you know, I feel like some good things are, you know, headed your way. And once again, I feel like you're very grounded, very focused this month. Um, it just seems like some good things are going to be offered to you. Um, you know, and this card can represent, you know, gifts from the universe. You know, you may be getting a nice gift this holiday season here. Um, or, you know, maybe some of you are getting some sort of help financially or some sort of loan. Um, but yeah, it just some, seems like some good things are, good things in regards to finances are headed your way this month. Um. I feel like you are trying to bring a sense of balance into your finances. I feel like you're really looking at things like, you know, how can I, you know, make more money or, you know, how can I save money? I just feel like for some of you, you feel like, you know, as soon as you get that check, it just, you know, goes. And so I feel like some of you are making some smart moves. It's like you're saving money. You know, you're trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, I just see, or, or you're think, or you're coming up with some good ideas that are going to help you make more money. Um, but yeah, I just feel like they're, you're coming up with some creative solutions here. Um, but yeah, just some good things in regards to your finances here. All right. And for the end of the month, you've got the Knight of Swords and Oceana. And Oceana says, take action. You're in touch with your truth. And take action. You're in touch with your truth in the situation. And you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Yeah, you know, I just feel like, you know, you know what's best for you. You know, nobody else knows what's best for you except for you. You know, and, you know, people may mean well with their advice or whatever, but what works for somebody doesn't mean it's going to work for somebody else. You know what I mean? So, you know, I feel like you know it's, you know deep down what's best for you. Um, and I feel like you are in touch with the truth. You really are. You have a lot of wisdom. Um, I feel like you're in touch with the truth. And, you know, the Knight of Swords is somebody who, it's like they really research, you know, really research all their options, you know, they, you know, this could, you know, this is like the detective, you know, trying to figure out the answers here, um, you know, and I feel like towards the, end of, towards the end of the month, you are really, 
it's like with the ocean here, you're exploring all of your options, you know, you're seeing what's out there, you know, you're seeing, I feel like you're keeping an open mind and you're coming up with some creative solutions and, you know, you're doing your homework, you're doing your research, you know, I just feel like you're, you know, you're asking questions, you know, you're thinking critically, you know, and I feel like you are in touch with the truth here. Um, you know, I just think, I feel like you're thinking for yourself. You know, you're not just, just because somebody else says something doesn't mean it's true. And I feel like you're realizing that, you know, you're thinking for yourself. Um, and yeah, I feel like you're not limiting yourself and you're exploring all your options. And, you know, you're just seeing what's out there. And, you know, you're exploring, you know, what the possibilities are, and, you know, I also feel like there's a sense that, you know, you're not taking no for an answer with something as well, you know, you're just charging ahead, and, you know, I just feel like, I just feel like you're at, you know, you know, for example, let's say somebody says, you know, that business idea, that's not a good idea, you're not going to be successful with that, I feel like you're not listening to that, you're just like, I'm moving forward, I know, this is a good idea. You know, that's just an example. All right. We'll have a wonderful month, Leo. Much love and many blessings to you all. Bye.